Unless you're like Tate and you have like 30 of them. Give me 30 of them? Hey, so is Tate still in prison or what? Probably. They haven't killed him yet? Have you seen those people that went marching to protest his, his release? Yeah. Would you be part of the people in there? I've never been a fan of protesting in general. I don't I don't think... Do you think... Okay, here's a good... Topic. Here's a question. Switching topic. Do you think protesting does anything? Really? If you do it in the right way, I think it does. Explain. Like, let's say you protest... Um, let's say you want to make a change, right? Or like... Let's say you want to fucking, I don't know. You're gonna tear down the cemetery. Okay. Right? And you don't want that to happen because it's been here for 200 years and it's like a landmark. And then people all come and protest. They stand out here and they're like, no, don't tear it down. Peacefully, right? Okay. So then the people in charge are like, oh, there's a lot of people that don't want this to get torn down. Maybe we should do something with, like, what the people want. Okay. Right. But like the insurrection, right? You, you heard about that, right? Yeah. When charging they, the capital. They broke into the capital. I, I don't think that's the best way to do it. But I think it would have been good if they just showed up to the capital without breaking in. I forgot, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot. Like, why were they even trying to charge the capital for what? Like, what was the reason for that again? They, they marched to the Capitol because they they thought that Biden stole the election from Trump. Oh, yeah, that's right. They, they said that it was uh, corruption. I mean, hey, what do you think about that, though? I feel like I've seen so many people try and, like, explain how it was rigged. And, like, everyone was like, no, it was, like, rigged. Like, I mean... I mean, do you think it was 0% chance that it was rigged? No, here's the thing. I'm under the belief that it was rigged. I'm not going to lie. I'm under the belief it was rigged, but I think like, does it I, does it really matter, right? Because I think like I think it matters. I think the reason why I think it doesn't matter is because I think no matter who sits in that office chair, I think at some point there's guys in black suits that show up and it's like, hey, this is how you're gonna do shit. Like you know, I don't really think the president really runs shit. I think there's people above him. Who's like, hey, this is what you're gonna fucking do. So what are you saying? That he has no power or he has very limited power? He has to he has to play in he has to color inside the lines, is what I'm saying. Like, you know, mm. I think there's people that have more power and more money and more influence than the president. Like I mean, the, I'm sure there's corruption everywhere, dude. Like Well, but that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying because that because of not, that, not, I don't think it matters who sits in the chair, because I think the person above that is the one who's really making decisions and like, oh, okay, well, let's do this. You know, because I think, I think didn't even, um, I think Donald, Donald Trump, I think he said something like that. I think he even said like, hey, you know. That you can't do some certain things? Yeah, like, because I think Andrew Tate was talking about it in an interview with, I uh, forgot what the other guy's name was. But he said like, you know, when the guys in the black suit show up and tell you how to really run things. Oh, like, I think that was... Uh, Putin, P Putin, or whatever the fuck's name is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, Putin, is the one who said that. He said that I've been through three presidents. Yeah. He's like, it doesn't matter which president we have because they all st still talk to the same guy or whatever, right? Yeah. So, like, I mean, Putin said that, bro. So it's like, I don't know. Well, he doesn't it's... know. The fuck? How is he gonna know? He's just assuming. Well, I'm. But a... for sure, there's corruption, dude. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna say it was it was stolen from Trump. But I, I am gonna say that maybe there were some votes that were fraudulent, like some of them that didn't count. You know, like, but at the same time, dude, like, why is there so much corruption? Because people chase, everyone chases the same thing. People chase money, their own benefit. Fa money, fame, power, status. But it's to their own benefit. That's the problem. I mean, yeah, but people are selfish by dude, nature. I don't know if it's, if, if, if it's just because I'm ignorant of what's really going on, but if I was in a position of power like that, I wouldn't do that shit. Dude, 
I would, I would be more, I would take more satisfaction from being in a job like that and telling people not to do the, the corruption part than to actually get the money. I mean, like, like I said, I do think it's ignorance because like, it's kind of like, damn, Dude, it's kind of like when people decide to become cops because they want to be, like, good people and stuff. And then, like, you know, like, let's say, like, you know, you see some, like, crooked shit. And then it's like, oh, I'm going to be a good person. I'm going to, like, you know, I'm going to tell, right, that, like, you know, you're doing this or whatever. And then, like, mm -hmm. you know, you try telling somebody that some shit's going down and then you realize, like, the person you told or the higher up is like a part of it and then you get fucking murked, you know? That that's when like, it gets the most on my on my nerves, dude. Like have you seen those videos on YouTube where like a cop stops a judge and then the judge is like, you know who the fuck I am? And then he just lets him go because he's a judge. Yeah. Right? It's like no dude, like being a judge doesn't mean you're above the law. Yeah. Like you can't be speeding through the fucking street just because you're a judge and you think you're better than than the law. No, yeah, I get you, bro. I'm just but there's saying. corruption everywhere, bro. Like, even at the smallest, like, low level. Yeah, dude, like, I used to work at a pizza place, right? Yeah, there's corruption at work, dude. dude what the hell? You could put in food in the in the oven and eat it, take it home, not pay for it. Yeah. That's corruption. Yeah. That's corruption, dude. But it gets on my nerves when, when it, it matters more. Like, pizza probably doesn't matter that much. But when it matters more, like, like police... Or like politicians it's like what do you what's going through your mind like you know you're fucking people over you know this is the wrong thing to do and you like do it anyway for the money yeah that's exactly why people do it though but most most people like i said that's why i always try and make the argument that i don't i think i tried having this conversation with one of one of our co-workers i was saying how i think naturally i think people aren't good people by nature because i think it's easier to be a bad person to be a good person is harder especially when you have power and influence dude not it is, for me dude no, no. i wouldn't be able to sleep if i'm if i knew that i took fucking three million dollars from the city of whatever I, I i know but i i get but that just means you have a good moral and then compass. you go out of your way to buy a house with that same money you go buy a car yeah bro like what are you doing no but that's what i'm saying though you have a good moral compass and that's good but you have I, to i wouldn't even say that man because nobody like, it's, it's not like somebody taught me to do this. Or maybe they did. I don't know. But the point is that everyone is self-sufficient and only caring about themselves. Especially when you get to the top, bro. Yeah, you're right. There's corruption everywhere. You're going to see some vile shit, bro. People kill each other over just information of shit, of leaks, of whatever, right? Like, you could, you could be a cop doing your job. Wrong place, wrong time. See other cops doing some fuck shit, and that good cop will get fucking murked because he was just like in, in wrong place, wrong time. Like, right? Like, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Like, corrupt people are gonna do corrupt shit. Like, you know, evil. Oh, the, the other part e of corruption. Is out dude, there. The other part of corruption with the insurrection that happened mm -hmm. to the Capitol. The there was like footage that showed. I don't know if you knew, but like the shaman that like supposedly broke in and was uh was aggressive to the to police and did you hear about that or no no there's like a shaman he, some guy that dressed up as like uh i don't know he dressed up as something and he was he was in in the capital mm -hmm. supposedly breaking shit and like you know hurting people mm -hmm. that was like two years ago okay and then like just this past week they released footage of him walking in peacefully, like just walking around. The police are are basically escorting him around, like walking him around the, the hallways. He doesn't seem like he's aggressive. And when when he's about to leave, he does a prayer with the police. Wow. And all that was like removed from from the court hearing. Like it wasn't given to the people. The heck. Yeah, and then there was there was politicians saying that if that footage was released, it was going to be a, a direct attack to democracy because it was going to get people upset that this guy is serving years for breaking in when in reality he wasn't aggressive, like he wasn't 
What's it called? I think, um, what's that, Ben Shapiro? Yeah. One of the videos I watched, he said that technically we're not even, um... Democracy? We're not even a democracy. We're a republic? We're uh, something republic, yeah. Something, something like that. I think he said republic. Yeah. Well, remember what I told you the other day? Like, a democracy is only 51%... What was it again? Totalitarianism? Totalitarianism? Yeah. Like there's 40, 49% of the people that didn't get what they want for a democracy to exist. I mean, yeah, but that's also to say that in every decision, do you think it's 50-50? Like there's going to be some things that the government decides yeah, it's like that a seven, 75% of people agree with and 25% yeah. disagree with. Yeah, but then the, the beautiful thing about the, the United States is that there's different states. So let's say if, if you're supportive of abortion, but California doesn't allow abortion, you can move to like another state, like Texas. Yeah? Yeah. But you know what I mean? That's, that's the, the better part of the United States. You can still move within the United States. Pretty close, And it gets yeah. you different things. Like, like gun control is very strict here in California. But, but Texas. If, but if you move, yeah, to Texas, then it's not as, you know? So it's a democracy in a way, but you can still, like, get different things in different states. For me, whenever I go vote, have you ever gone to vote? No. Anyways, whenever I go to vote and I read the things, I, I pick the least controlling measure you know what I mean like if there's measure P and it says like uh, gambling is not allowed for kids under 21 or whatever or people under 21 and then the other ones like gambling is allowed I pick gambling is allowed because it's see. least controlling you know I what see. I mean like it doesn't even matter who you are like if you're Trump but you support this then I don't support that measure that you're pushing so are are you also one of those people though that like you know after after you're done voting get your little sticker you like put it on you walk nah, around and you're like did you vote did you vote did you vote give a fuck about did the you sticker. vote like I mean there's a lot of people I guess that that don't give a fuck about voting right well like here's the thing right I think you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want right so you if you want to vote I think you should vote. I think if like Johnny, I think everyone should vote. I think if Johnny down the street, if he wants to vote, fucking go ahead and vote. But if somebody feels that they shouldn't vote because they think the system is fucking rigged and they think it's a waste of their time personally, I think that's bullshit. I think that's a cheap excuse. I think that it's a very valid excuse, Mister. I think it's a cheap excuse. I would disagree. I think it's a cheap excuse if then you go ahead and complain about it. Like if you didn't go vote, let's say for for uh, like uh, like emissions in California, let's say you didn't go vote for that, but then three months later it gets put into law and then you're getting affected by it and then you complain about it, you have you have no place to complain, dude. Like you didn't even go vote for it. No, but what I'm saying is, I think if I did go vote for it, I think the result would have been the same. So my, I, I'm basically under. But the, it doesn't matter, dude. It's that's the, like saying, hey, I'm not gonna go to the gym. Why? Well, I'm still not gonna make gains. The result is gonna be the same. No, no, no. Because I will make gains. I, that's what I'm saying. You will make a difference. But you don't even know because you're not even showing up. You know what I mean? I don't know. Here, I just here's what I'm saying, right? I know I, what you're saying. I think another thing too. I think back in the day, way back when, I think voting was a real thing. Because there's less people. No, no, no. I, not even just that, but I think I don't know. The way I read the history books, it just sounds like the system. Maybe there was still corruption, but oh, it hello. just sounds. It just sounds like there was more honesty, more honor in the system. Like you know, maybe there was corruption, but they didn't fuck with like voting and shit like that. Like. Maybe it was a held to a higher standard, maybe. I don't know. I mean, how did George Washington become the first president? Do you know how? I... No. Did he get voted in? I actually don't know either. Did he get voted in? Or was he just a general that led the military and then he ended up being the first... I'm, I'm really leader. bad with history. When I was younger, 
History was like my least favorite thing. Yeah, like, I, I didn't care either. Like I was like, what? But now, dude, as as I'm older, it matters even more. You think so? Hell yeah. Why do you say that? Why do you think it matters well, more? Well, you know now? what? Do you know the saying they have? Like, if if you don't, how's it go? If you don't review history, you're bound to repeat or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. History always repeats itself. Yeah. It can. It can, dude. But I mean, do you think we're gonna go back to fighting within our own country? Aren't we already like a civil war? But like a like a full, fully blown civil war. Like actual physical like combat status. Like yeah, like when we're like we hate each other so much and we're like, you know what? California, it's gonna be its own country. We want to leave. Or Texas, we want to be our own country. We're leaving. What it, uh? What is it called? Uh, I don't know. I saw I saw a video where this guy was talking about. The rise and falls of empires, right? Yeah. And they were saying how every 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 empire or civilization lasts roughly around the same time or something. Like you know, most of them. How many years? Uh, most of them last. The I life. Mean? I don't know. The video was explaining that most civilizations in most countries, their rise and fall. Five hundred. Um, in between. Um. 200 and 400 years mm. so we're due so a lot of societies a we're lot due, bro. yeah basically we're due but you know what i think life got so good that we stopped caring about things that we should have cared about what do you mean like like there's no need to care about where your food comes from right yeah because you just get it here at mcdonald's or whatever yeah right but that's that's part of what the country is like can you sustain itself well, that, and that's another question. Do you, do you think we'll ever get to a point where we actually have a real food shortage? Do you think we'll ever get to a point where we'll have like a real like drought, like a water shortage? Like when, when, like what do you think would happen if we actually had a real systemic problem in food, water, or something that was like money or like you know the the financial system fell apart? Like what if we really just like lost everything? I think there would be even more corruption, right? Like if you work at let's say Costco, you'd probably want to uh, hog all the food or all the water or. Oh, dude! What about the whole toilet paper thing, dude? Remember oh, yeah, that shit? So dumb, dude. Dude, I would see videos on Instagram of like some like twenty-year-old dude punching a ninety-year-old woman in the face for for toilet paper, dude. For toilet paper, some twenty-year-old dude just fucking sock a granny in I the face. I never saw that. Dude, that's, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like everything, like all your all your values go out the window, right? Yeah, dude. I, I could not imagine doing that. If I saw that, I feel like I would have beat that guy's ass, bro. Like, how did I, you just because like the dude had like three cases of toilet paper in his Smacks. cart, and she only had one, and he like fucking socked her in the face and took the one that she had, but she uh, only had one case. Like, I mean, the strong survive, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. Dude, I don't know, man. People, people started selling toilet paper on Amazon for like two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks. Was there even a shortage? I don't think there was, man. Yeah, dude. Half the no, time. but like, actually, was there actually a shortage? Well, what you think? People were just not putting them on the shelves. I don't know, man. How could there be a shortage? People, people didn't show up to the warehouse, or what? No, like people kept. No, no, I'm saying like the production. Like people didn't show up to work, and that's what happened. Or no, no, no. So many people were buying so much toilet paper because, like, what was happening was, for some reason, when yeah, when, when, when when COVID oh no no because no, when COVID happened, the idea was the world's gonna end. You know what I need to buy a stockpile of toilet paper. So every person was going to the the fucking store and buying 20 cases each person buying 20 cases right so what was happening was the amount of production that they were trying to make keep couldn't up. keep up that was the problem that doesn't even make sense man no because that's how crazy people got so do you think you would do that with something else like they like water or with like rice yeah dude if they did that with water dude imagine if you went to the store and you couldn't get water imagine if like like you know, dude. What if like every fast food you know chain what, dude, stopped dude, selling water during COVID? That did kind of happen because my grandma, she's like like ninety, right? Uh huh. 
And uh, during COVID, we didn't want her to go outside that much because she's old. Yeah. So we would go buy water for her and drop it off at her house. But sometimes there wasn't water at like Costco or like Walmart or one of those. Mm -hmm. So we'd go 7-Eleven. There wouldn't be water. We'd go next 7-Eleven. There wouldn't be water. And then when we found water, it would be like $14 a case for a 24 pack. Oh, yeah. So that's like, what, six times the amount of what it is usually? Supply and demand. When the PS5 came out, you would buy a PS5. If you could find it, you would find it for 500. You would buy it right off the bat and you could sell it for $1,500 because that's how much people were selling it online. So you could triple the money you put in by buying a PS5, fucking a bunch of people over and buying five of them and you could just triple your money. Yeah, sell them later. Dude, it was insane, bro. GPU, same thing, bro. Fucking oh, scalpers. Dude, scalpers were crazy, bro. You could mark up a GPU for like 300%. It was insane.